Islands in August. I don't often go to the Greek Islands in August. In fact, I haven't been to a Greek Island in August since I think it's August of 2019 when I moved here. <laughs> and before that, I think I came in 2018 and that was awful. Uh, and I vowed I would never do it again. But yet here we are doing the thing that I said I would never do. So I'm going to Antiparos and Paros this week. And I wanted to give you guys a glimpse of what an island in August looks like. Um, I'm here the day after the big holiday. It's August 16th. Um, so the ferry terminal is very quiet. Normally this place would be rockin'. Okay, it's a little after six now and it's getting busier. As you can see, there are more people waiting. It's still way less busy than it would be, I feel like, if it was normal. And more, more taxis are coming, but they're not coming to my ferry. They're going down there. Okay, so the ferry got a little bit busier, but it's still not busy like it normally is in August. I think it's because it's the day after the holiday. Like, usually up there, the seats are all full. So, um, traveling the day after the holiday is good. Now, I think come Sunday, it will be crazy busy. So this is the kind of chaos I expect on a Greek island in August. There's a bus coming in, there's a bus leaving, there's another bus about to go, and also taxis and cars dropping people off in the bus stop and I don't know if you can see it but there are all these cars lined up to go onto the ferry so <laughs> it's part of the reason I'm going to Antiparos because these more popular islands are just insanity. I have no real comparison of what Antiparos is like in the off season. Uh, this seems pretty busy. Uh, the ferry wasn't full inside but the car deck was definitely full. So it could be that a lot of people just stayed in their cars. Uh, so, but they run and there were two more ferries here. So there are plenty of ferries to get to Antiparos. Easy, easy. Comparatively, the beaches in Antiparos were not busy, but it was hard to find an empty spot to sit in in this beach. And most of the beaches are not organized. During the day, the streets were pretty empty. And I think that's because everybody was at the beach. Everyone is down here doing the same thing. It's like the Ia of Antiparos, although much less crowded. Although this is the most people I've seen all day because even at the beach earlier today, it wasn't that crowded. Like all of those people over there, that's a lot of people. <laughs> I can see why though, it's already beautiful. I am down at St. George Beach in Antiparos, and what I noticed today is that even though this beach is all the way at the other end of the island, and there really isn't, except for the tour island bus, there isn't a bus to get down here until 11 o'clock in the morning, it's already very busy. Uh, so I'm not sure if that's normal or if this is just August, but this is what August is like in Antiparos. The other thing I will say is that I hear a lot of Italian being spoken, and I think that's because this is also a week that Italians are on vacation. As you can see, the night was busier. I actually tried to eat at this particular restaurant, but there was a wait, and I really didn't feel like waiting when there was a restaurant that was half empty across the street. And we're back in the chaos of Paros, and the Blue Star Nexus has just come in, so it's very crazy around here, and People waiting to get off. Oh, actually, both blue stars are here at the same time. So there's two sets of cars coming. So the port police are out here directing traffic. Uh, <laughs> August. All right, I am not really going to do a lot while I'm in Paros because I've been here many times, but I just thought I'd walk around. I've done a little shopping and I'm gonna go visit this Church of 100 Doors um, because it is a beautiful Byzantine era church. Surprisingly not busy at all, but maybe everyone's at the beach. <laughs> 
So this is the line to currently get on the ferry. Now I don't know if this is just for this particular sea jets. This is a smaller sea jets, probably going to Naxos or Mykonos. It looks like that the marina is very full as well, which is always a sign that it's busy. I've come out here at night to see how it is in August in Baros. There are two ferries, and this is, I don't know, ferry number what, 10, 11 today that I've seen, it seems like. Um, so, and normally people in Greece eat out pretty late, so it's not super busy yet, but it's definitely busier than it was earlier today. Even at 10 o'clock at night, the ferries are still coming and going, and that's the Blue Star. It will go to Naxos next, and then I think it goes back to Piraeus. It's the overnight ferry. I think it gets in at like five o'clock or something. Something awful, actually. <laughs> and as you can see, there's still traffic because the ferry just came. Good morning from Paros. I am at the Symposium Cafe this morning for breakfast, and I have all day to kill. For some reason, I decided to book the late ferry, and because it's the holiday weekend, all the ferries are booked, so I couldn't change it to something earlier. That was a great spot for breakfast. I really enjoyed it. Um, it would have been better if I could have sat outside, but they were fully just packed, and it just kept coming, like people just kept coming in and coming in now. The one thing is, is they stopped serving breakfast at noon according to the menu, so get there before then. Every place was pretty full and it was late, it was like 11.30, so I suggest that if you're here, you uh, go early for breakfast if you want a good spot. It's definitely busier today. Everybody's down here at the port having breakfast, probably waiting for their ferry. And it seems definitely busier than it was yesterday. So I think maybe after this week in August, it gets a little less crazy. Uh, when I've been here in August, it was pre-COVID and it was busy to the end of the month. So who knows, things are definitely different now. My advice to you is if you're coming to the islands the week of August 15th and you're taking the Blue Star Ferry and not one of the fast ferries where they assign you a seat, you either get an airplane seat where you have an assigned seat or you book a business class ticket. This is gonna guarantee that you have a place to sit because sometimes when it's this busy, I've seen people sitting on the floor. My ferry has been delayed twice now. I got a text message earlier this afternoon saying that it was delayed by about 40 minutes and then a couple of hours later I got another one right as I was about to get up and walk down to the port saying that it was going to be delayed again. Um, I don't even know how much time at this point how much that one was delayed but so far it's going to be about an hour later so like not severely delayed but it also means that I get back really late into Athens. I wish I'd been able to get to one of the Paros beaches to show that to you guys but I was just really exhausted and I'm glad I didn't because this ferry ended up being even later than they predicted and then getting on the ferry was chaos. I waited inside the cargo hold for 20 minutes trying to get onto the ferry. All right, finally made it. I'm not even home yet though. We're over an hour and a half late, which isn't a big deal if it was like the middle of the day, but it's after 11.30 at night. <laughs> anyway, so this is what you can expect in the middle of August, going to a Greek island and then taking the ferry back. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.